Yo, Bytor here. Welcome back, everyone. We will keep the introduction short this time, as the video will be short as well. We polled our YouTube community on the content they would like to see. And you guys answered that you would like to see some questions about analog IC design. If you would like to be notified about these polls and our latest videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, click on that little bell icon. All right, so this next question can be used in a setting where the interviewer is talking about biasing and current mirrors. The question will start with the interviewer mentioning the following. Imagine I have an ideal configurable voltage source. I would like to use this voltage source to provide biasing to an IC. Let's also imagine that this IC is one millimeter by one millimeter, and I need to provide this bias to all four edges of my chip. A colleague of mine recently suggested that the simplest approach would be to hook this voltage source to a pin and route all the bias signals to this pin. Can you comment on this approach? We are back on our theme of open-ended questions. This situation is very common during design reviews or even planning your IC. So the interviewer is trying to assess how you approach a problem at a system level. I'll give you 10 seconds to pause the video and come up with the answer yourself. All right, so we have an ideal voltage source and many ways of using it to create a bias for all four corners of the IC. So naturally, we need to ask questions. One of the questions that comes to mind is the following. Is the same bias expected to all four corners? Let's say the interviewer says, yes, you will have the exact same circuit at all four corners and the circuit has to be biased as closely as possible as the others. I encourage you to think about the answer if the interviewer said, I need a 1x, 2x, 3x and 4x bias on each corner. Anyway, if the circuits at the four corners are meant to be biased as closely as possible, another follow-up question you can ask is, should I assume anything else to be ideal? Let's assume the interviewer says, only the voltage source is ideal. Then our answer should be the following. If only the voltage source is ideal, then it is not possible to have the four circuits share an identical bias voltage. The reason for this is that the grounds at each of the corners might be different since we are not assuming idealities in the IC. The ground connections definitely have some limited resistance. And based on the amount of current traveling through those, they can lift the ground several millivolts. So if I use this voltage source to bias the gate of an NMOS, the VGS that it sees at one corner of the chip right here is going to be different than the VGS that it sees at the opposite corner, right here. A follow-up question from the interviewer could be, what happens if I use it to buy as a PMOS device instead? I'll leave that one up to you, ninjas. Also, if you're enjoying the content, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe if you're new. The interviewer will naturally ask, so what should we do? Your answer obviously should be, we need to send biased currents instead of biased voltages. Again, the interviewer might say, well, we only have a voltage source. How can we solve the problem? Your answer should be the following. We can use feedback to create bias currents. If I create a centralized bias block, then I can use the voltage source as a reference input to an amplifier. The amplifier's output can be driving a PMOS device and the drain of that PMOS device can be tied to a resistor. The voltage drop created by the drain current and the resistor can be fed back to the amplifier. In this manner, the feedback loop will ensure that both input terminals are equal and it will drive the gate of the PMOS device to whatever VGS it needs to accomplish this. Then we can tap on this gate voltage and connect more PMOS devices of the same size and we will know they will output a current proportional to the voltage source divided by the resistance, R. We can send this bias currents to all four corners where they can be received by diode-connected devices and mirrored. 
By doing this, the difference in grounds will not affect us, and we will have very similar biasing across all four corners. And there you have it. At first glance, it seems like a simple question, but it can quickly evolve into something more and more challenging. Smash that like and subscribe button if you found the content helpful. See you next time. Cheers.